Welcome to Devices Setup and today we will learn how to set up Netgear Nighthawk RS600 Wi-Fi 7 tri-band router. First of all, to start with, make sure you have unboxed your Nighthawk BE18000 router. Next, you will need to unplug the modem from power and if it have a battery, then remove the battery as well. Then reinsert the battery back and plug the modem back in. Moreover, in case you don't require a modem at home, then connect the internet cable coming from the internet service provider to the yellow port marked as internet on the router. Next, we will need to connect the Netgear RS600 router to the power by using its power adapter. Once you plug it in, then the power LED on it will turn solid white, which confirms that the router is ready for the setup. Now, there are two ways to set up this router. You can try any one of it as per your convenience. First, we will learn the browser setup because I find it easier than the app setup. So for this, first of all, we will need to connect to the Netgear RS600 router's default network name. You can find your router's network name or SSID written on the label printed on the back panel of the router. So go to your Wi-Fi list and look for your Netgear router's SSID and tap on it to connect to it. Once it asks for the password, then type the password printed on the back label of the router. Now kindly note that you can also use an Ethernet cable and connect one end of it to your Netgear router and the other end to your computer's LAN port. This way you can also make a connection between your router and the computer. So either way, once you are connected either wirelessly or wired to your Netgear router, then simply open a browser on the same computer and into the URL or address bar, type routerlogin.net or type 192.168.1.1 to access the router setup page. On this page, it might show you a message prompt that you can set up RS600 router using a Netgear Nighthawk app. So simply ignore it and scroll down to the bottom where you will see a message if you don't have a compatible smartphone click here so click on this option and follow the on-screen instructions it might initially ask you to create a username and password for your netgear router and select two security questions as well these two security questions will be useful when in case in the future you might forgot your router's login username or password. Then by answering these, you will be able to retrieve your credentials. So follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. Like it might ask you to create a SSID and password for your router and also select its security type. Moreover, for DNS, select get automatically from ISP option. Also, if your router shows a firmware version available, then kindly make sure to update it to the latest firmware as this will ensure your router has latest security and latest features. In case during the browser setup, if you're logged out of the setup window, then you can get back to it by going to routerlogin.net or 192.168.1.1 and hit enter. Then tap on advance on the Netgear router interface and then go to the setup wizard option then follow the on-screen instructions to complete your setup. Moreover, if you want to log in into your router after setup, then you can watch video given in the description to learn how to do it. Also, if the router is not setting up, then simply reset it to factory default settings. The video guide is given in the description to learn how to do it. Now let's check the second method of setting up this router via the app. For this, first download and install the Netgear Nighthawk app. The download link is given in the description then follow the on-screen instructions and sign in into the app or create an account if you already don't have one then click on set up a night talk next when it asks for you to select a product then select wi-fi router next enable the camera and scan the qr code on the back panel of your netgear night talk be 18000 router then it will ask you to get connected to the router's default network ssid to which you just have to allow the permission and it gets automatically connected but if in case it doesn't get connected automatically then simply tap on the home button on your phone 
and go to the settings and then to the Wi-Fi and select your Netgear Nighthawk router's default SSID there and type its password. You can find both this information again on the bottom of the Netgear Nighthawk router. And once connected, go back to the Nighthawk app and then you can personalize your Wi-Fi SSID and password on the Nighthawk app. And lastly, just follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. So this is how you set up your Netgear Nighthawk BE18000 router. And if you want to know how to find your router's IP address after setup, then you can watch video given in the description. Finally, if you found this video useful, then please do hit like and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you so much.